Testing, testing, one, two, and the trois, quatre, cinq. All right, we're live. Hi, guys, and welcome back to Vio Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse. Ooh, look at this cool, this cool wheel, G923 from Logitech. Ooh, video is coming very soon this weekend. Now, today, guys, we're talking about pornography inside of virtual reality, as well as a lady who apparently, allegedly, got sexually assaulted in VR. Now, we know we need to talk about these two topics separately as part of this video, because, guys, Guys, it's not as bad as what you think, but it is true that the metaverse needs more regulation, of course. But before we talk about this, guys, do remember that you can go to the link in the description below after this video to enter to win a brand new HP Reverb G2, as well as potentially a brand new pair of cyber shoes with the gaming station, the cyber chair, the carpet, and everything that goes with it. Now, these two items are sponsored by HP and sponsored by cyber shoes. So they will be the ones who send you those items separately to two different winners. And the third winner will walk away with a brand new, sorry, not brand new, oh, a voucher, which is brand new, worth 50 US dollars that you can redeem against any VR title that you want inside of the Oculus MetaQuest store, Viveport, SteamVR, and now, of course, the Pico Neo 3 Link store too as well. All right, guys, back to today's topic. So first of all, let's talk about pornography inside of virtual reality, allegedly an executive from Microsoft, that is, allegedly said that he watched, ooh, let me take away, porn in the office and behave inappropriately toward women employees, sources say. Oh my God, what is going on now? First of all, guys, first of all, before I go into this, let's, 100% of us, only those who A, don't have a mobile phone, who don't have TV, who don't have access to magazines or any shape or form of content, media content, watch porn. It's that simple. It is that simple. There is no taboo about it. We are in 2022 now. No taboo about it. Now, watching porn in VR is an experience of its own. You have to try. That's all I can say. I'm not going to give you my version of it. But at the end of the day, it is very, very different, of course, than watching it on your computer screen or on a magazine as we used to do back in the day <laughs> when we were teenagers, or well, when I was a teenager. At the end of the day, you know, it's, it's, it's different, it's there. It's what's going to bring VR to the mainstream. <laughs> Let's be honest, it's what's going to bring VR to the mainstream more than anything else that is a fact, guys. Leave a comment below. Let me think what you think about this. Do you think that pornography is something that's going to bring VR to the mainstream? Do you think it's shocking? Do you think it's horrible? You don't think VR should be used for it? What do you think? Have you experienced it? Leave us your comment below. Let us know your feedback about this particularly this specific topic because, you know, it's not talked about a lot and, you know, it's very interesting to know people's opinions. So let's have a chat about it. Now, let's go back to the actual article of the day, which is much more disruptive than watching that type of content inside of the headset, of course. So here's going on, guys. Here's the story. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella has promised to end the company's tolerance for talented jerks, but dozens of current and former employees told inside the executive misconduct remains rampant at the company, retains a nearly unlimited tolerance, bad behavior by its rainmakers and developers. One such golden boy sources said is Alex Kipman, I mean, come on guys, they actually told the person's name? The prominent Microsoft L executive who oversees a team that's central to Nadella's plan to define the next wave of computing, current and former employee allege Kipman has repeatedly gotten away with inappropriate behavior towards women employees, including unwanted touching. Now that's completely different to watching porn inside of the metaverse. So let's get to it. In one instance, Kitman is alleged to have watched the lewd VR video in the office in front of employees, according to a person who was present. The video featured women in skimpy clothing, frolicking on a bed and engaging in overly sexualized pillow fight. An employee who was present speaking with Insider later described the scene as VR porn. Sources who spoke to Insider suggest the incident involved in Kitman is part of a widespread pattern of executives misconduct, including verbal abuse and sexual harassment that continues to persist at Microsoft. Ooh. Ooh, this is certainly not good news, Microsoft. Certainly not good news. I got people working there, I can tell you, they certainly don't have that kind of behavior. 
Uh, it's not generally the kind of publicity that you want, of course, that is for sure. But, you know, at the end of the day, it is true that uh, pornography and porn is a completely different uh, experience. Now, should it be done at the workplace? If you're in a testing lab, maybe if you're conducting some kind of research experiment, psychology things, then maybe okay. But not if you're just engaging in some kind of self-pleasuring things, then no, it is definitely not appropriate. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. It doesn't sound very good. Uh, let's see what Microsoft, Microsoft will come up with, whether this is, of course, it's, alleged, it's an ele allegedly, so it doesn't mean it actually happened. It could be rumors. It could be someone trying to put someone down. Who knows? For someone to quit. Who knows? But it's not good whatsoever, of course. So let's uh, keep in view what's going on in the future. Now let's go to our other topic, which is about sexual assault inside of VR, because of course, Pornography, sexual assault kind of go hand in hand together in some form of shape, man. It's true. Um, and VR, let, let's let's go to the article first. Let's uh, let's talk about this because also there, there are certain things to there's so certain things to talk about. Now, basically, there was a lady um, who went inside. Basically, this person, a metaverse researcher, who went inside of the metaverse. Uh, and who, you know, she's a researcher. She goes inside, she's in the metaverse, whatever amount of hours per week or per day. And she's basically giving her own feedback of things that basically occurred. Now, apparently she went inside of Horizon. Now, could this just be bad publicity for Meta? We also know that bad, bad, bad publicity, sorry, is good publicity. And we know that Meta are very good at creating a bad publicity, which has increased the revenue, unfortunately. So who knows why these kind of stories come out, but basically she went inside of Horizon, someone went on her and did some things to her inside the metaverse, and you know, she was shocked by it, and basically she is now uh, sharing her story as to what occurred to her. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below if you want to listen to it, because obviously I can't put the sound on, otherwise the, the, the video might be flagged. Um, but the, here's an actual article also of someone else here. Captain has said avatar of a 21 year old researcher was sexually assaulted in Meta's virtual reality platform, Horizon Worlds. Corporate accountability group, some of, some of us for whom the researcher works, says it shows Meta needs better plans to mitigate harm in the metaverse. Meta's annual shareholder meeting takes place on Wednesday. The company told the BBC there were safety tools in Horizon Worlds to help people have a positive experience, noting that Meta had not yet seen the full some of us report. A spokesman told BBC the firm wanted everyone in Horizon Worlds to access the safety procedures and help us investigate and take action. Horizon Worlds is currently only available to users in the US and Canada. Avatars in the platforms have a simplified cartoonish appearance and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. All right, guys. So basically, first of all, Horizon World is a crappy platform. No one likes it. There's tons of kids in there, which which makes me think, well, yeah, kids are weird inside of the world because kids are being kids. It's not that they're being weird. Excuse me. It's just kids are kids. They're very curious. They're being very kiddish. And unfortunately, some of their acts will due to perhaps some uh, lack of education by the parents, let's say, or lack of education by the platform especially, then of course they do a lot of crazy things. It's not just in Horizon, it's in every platform. Guys, we are, a lot of us millennials or Gen Z or, or Gen X inside of, inside of the metaverse, we're not, well, Gen X is quite young. Gen Z and millennials, you know, we're not that young and, and it's true that there's a lot of um, teenagers also 10 years old, 12, 13, 14 years old. They don't know the rules of life. They're just being teenagers. They've been very difficult and they make life miserable for us inside of the metaverse. So the problem is not so much the platforms. It's just get rid of the teenagers for now because they're not ready for it until there are some rules, some ways to for us to ban or kick them out. It just makes oh, like really good games, like for example, Population One or Contractors, you know, all these really cool games that are there that it make the experience really nice for us or VR chat or all space, you know, all these kind of things. When they come in, man, it's, 
Come on, you feel me, right? You feel me. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this because basically there are a number of tools. Now, please, of all, first of all, don't be afraid of going into the metaverse if you're not used to it. They're not going to physically hump you and harm you. And also there are tools around you so that if someone gets too close to you, they will disappear. They won't see you. Also, the other thing is if they touch you, which they can't, they can't on most platforms, you won't feel anything. First of all, uh, your 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 remote maybe will shake some, on some on some of the actual platforms, but most of them they don't shake. Most of them nothing will happen. But most of them they have a special boundary, which is an invisible boundary that you can switch on in all the different platforms, uh, where basically the moment they come too close to you, boom, they disappear. You don't see what they do. So if they do any inappropriate acts, for example, it will have to be quite further away from you. However, one thing you can't really control is the language. That means that a lot of these teenagers or kids will come in and start saying the F word. They'll start shouting. They start acting inappropriately. You know, most of these people in the metaverse who are acting this way are not the adults. They're not the adults. It's all the kids. You need to understand this. So if you are a parent and you're giving your headset to a child, please do us a favor. Educate your child. If you're someone who who hasn't done that, then you need to do that. That is on you. This is not on the platform per se. It cannot be on the platform. It has to be the parent who has to have the responsibility to A, make sure they know where their kid is going in which platform, B, monitor their kid and what they're doing, like be there with your kids, see what they're, they're doing, see what they're saying. You know, maybe you have another headset and go in the metaverse with your kid, make sure you see what they say, you know, create a, a, a different avatar, go as a secret avatar and go and spy on your kid, follow your kid or something, you know, because you can find people just by their name when you go in the metaverse. At the end of the day, this is a, 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 an educational problem from the parents to the kids because the kid is just being a kid. You can't blame a kid for being a kid. It's not possible. Possible. They only act as much as what they know they act, right? And then when they meet another kid and they think that that kid has been cool, then they will copy that kid. That's what we used to do when we were kids or when we were teenagers. Leave a comment below. Let us know what do you do. If you're a parent, let us know what you do. What measures do you take in order to try and educate your child as much as possible? So, of course, they won't act inappropriately inside of the metaverse. Now, if you have a full grown adult who's 40 years old or 30 years old who's doing the same things, now that is plain wrong and that guy should not be in the metaverse. In fact, Perhaps in the future, who knows? Do you think we should have real world consequences of people who go in the metaverse, who are an animated avatar and who create these things and spend jail time, who could potentially spend 10 years in jail because they impersonate themselves being a woman or being a man and then acting inappropriately to kids or to other adults, or they're performing certain things in front of other people. They're not doing it in closed doors in a private, let's say, world. What do you think? Do you think these kind of things should actually come into play in the future? Leave a comment below. Guys, thank you so much for spending some time today. This weekend, we're going to do some more videos. So look forward to those. And remember to click the notification button after you subscribe because we are doing a brand new giveaway. Well, it's not brand new with the HP Reverb G2, the Cyber Shoes of the Cyber Gaming Station and also the Cyber Chair and the voucher worth 50 US dollars where you will be able to redeem. Excuse me. VR games on the Pico store, Meta store, Steam store, and also the Vipol store. And we'll be revealing all the winners upon hitting the 11,000 subscribers. All right, guys, just before I go though, I just want to say hello to some of you people just very quickly. Let's go to VR Essentials. YouTube Studio. And then let's go uh, to recent subscribers and just say hello to some recent subscribers. Go by date. There we go. Let me make it bigger. Let me transition over so you can actually see. Oh, I've done that already. Okay. I'd like to welcome John Pakovsky, Sakayo. Oh, Sakayo. Hi to you. And I'll give you a shout out this weekend also. Jay Henrique Fontenelle, Bini Barbarino, Nelson Jose, Trini Slar, Kerry Scottney. Detrabor, Eddie Carter, and George Pinheiro. Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're almost at 11,000 subscribers. Look at this. Look at this. We're so shy from the giveaway. Guys, go to the link in the description below after this video and make sure to participate as you need to share some videos as well so we can get there as fast as possible. You guys are just freaking, freaking awesome. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Love you guys. Love you all.
Love you all. Bye, guys. I'll see you in the comments below in another video either on the right or the left and in another video this weekend.